because we will always need help yeah. with our electronics, yeah. that's I'm for actually, sure. I've just rounded into that age where uh, I had a lot of questions about mm. like a new iPhone I got, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh. Oh, well, there we are. Here right. we are. Guidance. So I'm you're asking Dana. Right. Yeah. Since like, you're you, younger, you're right. Here, can we in the right direction? Do something with this. I, I think about some of those stores, like, and how technology has changed. Do you remember Twitter? Do you guys have Twitter yeah. up here? Um, and it was the first plasma TV I ever saw there. Ooh. And it was $10,000. Oh. And this was whatever year. Yeah. 2000. Five years ago. 2000. Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> <sighs> All right, we've got a couple showers out there right now. Gloomy start to the work week after what was basically a perfect weekend. We did have some of that wildfire smoke, but otherwise beautiful. There's some showers moving into York County. We had a lot of drizzle too. That doesn't show up on radar traditionally, and it didn't today either. Droplets too small. It's too low in the atmosphere. Combination means the radar really can't pick up on it. But we had a lot of clouds. You can see that on satellite. Just some sun into northern Maine and the mountains where they actually had a decent day. So today was basically just a factor of this low backing its way in to southern New England. And so clouds came with that. Onshore flow came with that as well. And it just turned out to be a gloomy day in a lot of spots. Going forward through this week, we have a series of little disturbances working through that'll give us shower chances every day, I think, except for Friday. And so it's going to be a different feeling than we've had a lot of this summer. So tonight looks quiet temperatures in the 60s. An isolated shower is possible. Tomorrow looks like we'll see a shower in the morning and some clouds. So it starts off a lot like today. But the middle of the day potentially has some bright spots where we can see some sun from 11 to say 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Then we'll pop up some thunderstorms. Some of those storms will rumble east and some of them could be a bit strong tomorrow afternoon. But I think we'll see at least some sun along the coast as opposed to today. And then Wednesday, we're right back in it with clouds and some isolated showers. It's really humid, some thunderstorms in the afternoon. Again, these are not washouts, but it's really quite difficult to give you a good window of time where I think you know, it's going to be dry consistently outside until we get into Thursday where we start the day with some sunshine and end up with some thunderstorms in the afternoon. And as I mentioned, Friday looks good too. So here's a little disturbance Tuesday into Wednesday, another one coming through Thursday afternoon, but I do think Thursday afternoon looks um, okay. We overall are loosening up as we head into the end of the week and then we bring some troughs back for the weekend. So one thing that will be consistent with the shower chances, the humidity, it's up there between 65 and 70 basically all week. I like Friday a lot. I think Thursday's okay too. Again, just some scattered showers. Until then, it's going to be pop up stuff pretty much off and on throughout the day. The weekend, um, it doesn't look bad, but it definitely looks more showery than uh, the last couple of the weekends have. We were talking about how perfect mm. it's been. I was at a, a water park on Saturday. And it's rare for me to not even look at the radar in a row because I want to be the smartest one in the room. Like, if there's a thunderstorm coming, I'm going to be inside the snack shack before well, it arrives. Right, right. And it's just been, you know, no, no brainer right. kind of weekends. Yeah. This weekend doesn't look like that. Change mm. some more. Yeah. We'll be ready. All right, Keith, thanks so much. We'll be right back.